I'd like to call the July 12th meeting to order. Ready? Again. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, let's go on to 2.0 written communications. Are there any blue cards from the crowd? Todd, anybody online wishing to speak? Nobody online other than two school board members. Brian is there and Debbie is there. Brian is there? Is Brian labeled as Nate? Oh, Brian's here. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. Did oh. say Nate, right? Did say Nate. <laughs> okay. Nate's probably Nate Olson. Okay. All right. So um, moving on to 3.0. Oh, wait. Financial report 2.3. Nathalie, okay. that's not going to be ready, right? Yeah. Well, there's a, there's, um, a standard report that I believe is provided in here. And so that is from this last cycle. Oh. And, and items on items that are listed there are just. Things that are in our packet, but not for us to get a report to discuss. Got it. Yeah, it's just information. Okay. Uh, 3.0 consent agenda. Oh, personnel. 3.3. Sorry. Personnel report. Yes. So we usually we'll just consent agenda. Consent agenda. So I would move for the accepting consent agenda. So actually, I need to modify it. Would you withdraw your motion, please? Sure. I will draw my motion. I defer to Member Richardson. I move that we modify the consent agenda to add item 7.2 to ratify the organizational meeting during this year. Pardon me, Gary. What was that last bit? What are you modifying? We're adding an item to, under action item 7.2. And what we will do is just um, ratify our vote from the organizational meeting so that it happens after July 1st. I see. It's kind of a standard corporate CYA motion. So it's been moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Yes. 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 Yeah. All those opposed? It's been moved and passed. Uh, 4.0 reports. There is no action. 5.0. Yeah, I'll be brief because I've been on the job all of uh, a week now. So. Um, <clears throat> Did want to let the board know that we did have a break in at Allendale uh, during the 4th of July weekend. Um, we still are assessing the damage. Uh, our face value didn't look like very much, but um, the perpetrators did uh, set off a fire extinguisher, and that fire extinguisher may have done some damage to technology that was in the classroom. So we're having the technology department look at that and get us a report back on whether or not that had an impact. There were some damage to some doors, exterior doors, mostly the handles, and a few items like walkie-talkies were stolen. Um, but when we have more information, we'll get it to the board. There was also a, a spray painting incident at Grants Pass High School that happened uh, last week. Yes. And we took care of that. We got everything um, cleaned up pretty quickly. So we're working on uh, those items. Those are the big things that have happened in the first week, other than getting the district office painted and moved in, moving into my office. So, okay. Any questions? All right. 
6.0 board reports and special concerns. Well, I just like to say how much more I enjoy these meetings now that Cassie's chair. So, <laughs> <laughs> small desk now. You dig it's so small important. <laughs> I would just like to formally welcome you and thank you for your first official 12 days. Thank it's you. It's been a lot of um, time I, with, you know, meeting the community, but it seems like it's obviously summer and our kids have a lot of extra time on their hands. Yes, but I have been to all do summer school. I've been to summer school. I've seen some very fun things there. So they were dissecting some uh, pickles. It's part of the CSI investigation. <laughs> I didn't know pickles had a heart, but they do. Um, and saw the zucchini races that were going on. A lot of fun activities over at Parkside. So that was that was a lot of a lot of fun last week. So, Tim, how many uh, teachers have come in to visit with you in your first twelve days? I know you could send out an invitation. If you're teachers, curious. I have not had teachers come in to my office. I have been out and talked to some teachers. Um, but I have not had any come in yet. So I have had a couple of board members come in. I'd love to have all the board members uh, come and visit. Uh, Brian sent me an email earlier today. I'm hoping he can come in next week and we can have a chat. So would love to do that. But I think a lot of people are on summer vacation and know that they're coming back here pretty quick in August. Okay. So. Um, 7.0 action items. So uh, 7.1 buzzing systems. Can I have Danny share with you the information? Yes. All righty. All right. So some of it is in your packet, hopefully. Uh, just quickly to chase. We know uh, from all experience that the safest things to have in schools are locked doors. So far, there's not been an incident where somebody has gone through a door that's been locked to get to students. Um, so there's a buzz-in system at South Middle School. There's a buzz-in system at Allendale. Probably most people, are the one that's the most familiar with South. Uh, several of our schools are capable of having those buzz-in systems. So we are asking for a resolution to take some money out of capital projects um, and move it in so that we can buy the buzzing systems for um, Redwood, for Parkside, for Lincoln, for what else? Yeah. Yeah, all of those. We have some glasses on TV. All the elementary schools that we can't. Highland, I think all the elementary schools in Western. So we have uh, Highland, Lincoln, Parkside, Redwood, Riverside, Allendale, maybe just the back door is what that's about, and then Grants Pass High School. South already has it, down the already has the front door. Uh, north, uh, there's just not a capacity to do a buzzing system there. There's not a capacity to do a buzzing system at Gladiator. Uh, campuses are similar there. But uh, that allows us to do the buzzing systems. It also allows us to, at um, Parkside and also at Highland and Redwood, it allows us to have one button that shuts the doors to the hallways that lead to the classrooms Fire so, that they, so that if they did get there then those things would show and so that's about sixty eight thousand dollars in order to make that happen but um, we're excited that we believe we could get that done this summer and so we're asking to have a resolution to make that happen i think south has it already and does north have it as well north does not or it doesn't have an enclosed building. So the two that have it, Allendale and South. Okay. 7.2. I move that we um, ratify our, our organizational meeting votes from the previous meeting in this um, year by another roll call vote. So you'd want to vote on 7.1 and you, know, you can combine them together if you want 7.1, 7.2, or you can do it independently. So you're saying because the last meeting happened on June 28th, 
that you want to ratify <laughs> after July 1, the organizational, just as a CYA. Correct. Okay. All right, well, I'll second that motion. And we can go back to 7.1 after we're done. Okay. So, I'll go on 7.2. 7.2. Um, we'll need a roll call now. 7.2? Yes. Member Richardson? Yes. Member Coleman? Yes. Member Wilkins? Yes. Member Nelson? Yes. Member Brownell? Yes. And Member Delagrange? Yes. All right. I need a motion for 7.1. My motion that the board accept the um, resolution 2223-XX, our buzz-in system. Is that the correct resolution number? I don't think it's the first one in the school year, so publish in one. So number 2223-01 for adoption by our school board and district. Second. Second. Um, so all those in favor? Um, yes. Can I can I ask a question? Question, yes. Um, I just wondered, um, so this is going to be taken out of the capital um, funds project and or fund. Um, are we giving up anything? Um, I know we're kind of in a deficit. Uh, is there something that we're exchanging this uh, money for? That, yeah, yeah so Debbie, can, that's coming out of the contingency fund, not out of capital projects. Okay. All right. Thank you. It's actually both. It's coming out of the capital project contingency fund. Okay. So the contingency within the capital project. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for clarifying that. Is that a second from you? Yes. Thank you. Okay, hearing no more discussion, all in favor? Yes. 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 Any opposed? Pass. Thank you. So future meeting dates, mm -hmm. 8.1, board meeting. No, uh, no meeting on Tuesday the 26th. Um, there will be a meeting Tuesday, August 9th at 5 p.m and a board workshop on the 23rd at 5 p.m. also. And is, uh, is there a back to school assembly this year? There is um, August, Monday, Monday, August 22nd. Monday, August 22nd. It's gonna right, start at, uh, and it'll be at 11, um, a different start time than years past. Thank you. We'll give you a cool swag. <laughs> no, I think. Right. All right. I will adjourn the session and enter into executive session. Can you unmute now, Debbie? Todd? Let me see if I can unmute her. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Great, thanks. All right, we're gonna reopen the general session and looking for a motion. Action item 13.1. I move that we approve the memorandum of agreement between Southern Oregon Bargaining Council, Grants Pass Association of Classified Employees and Grants Pass School District number seven for the athletic trainer position. And I further that we approve the memorandum of agreement between those same parties for the um, changing the high school learning center position to detention supervisor. Second. All those in favor, say yes. 
Yes. Yes. Yes. Any opposed? It's passed. Fourteen point zero. Your turn. Look at your clock. Twenty-three. 